What is up, guys? I hope everybody's having a great day out there. We are playing some more NCAA 07. Thank you for everybody that subscribed to the channel so far and that shows their support by watching these videos. It really means a lot to me. In today's episode, we are going to be playing against Auburn and La Tech. If you're new, make sure you hit that like and subscribe. Christian Okafor is an absolute beast at this point in the series at 99 overall. And getting into today's first matchup, we have Auburn, who's currently ranked number 15 in the nation. They are 9-1 and, and have a four-game win streak. I'm Brad Nessler, here along with two of the best commentators in the game, Kirk Herbstreet and Lee Corso. The Mercury will stay low today in this game between the Auburn Tigers and the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame. We're ready to bring you another incredible matchup as the season starts to wind down. We'll see which teams will be left standing after it's all said and done. And here comes the Fighting Irish. We have two good teams here, and I'll be honest with you, I really don't know what to expect from this game. Notre Dame needs a big game from their talented running back. And I think they'll win the battle up front, and he's going to have a tremendous day. Look for him to lead them to victory. But Lee, it's going to be very close. No doubt about it, sir. I'm picking Fighting Irish. Here we go, guys. Fighting Irish on offense first, doing a little play action pass, trying to get our tight end involved. Walker able to pick up the first down, moving the chains. A couple plays later, we're going to go five wide. Graham has really turned into a really good quarterback this season, finding a wide open Pino on the curl route to the left. And now I think it is time to start actually feeding the ball to Okafor. We had that defense open up after throwing the ball some, so we're able to pick up some decent yards right there. Facing a third in inches, I formation, Okafor just bulldozing his way to the first down, moving the chains, and that is when we go to the air, my friends. Little play action pass, going to Pino deep. He's able to get one-on-one -on -one coverage and scores a touchdown. We are up by seven on that 37-yard touchdown pass. Now, in Auburn's first offensive series, they were able to move the ball pretty well, picked up a couple first downs, but now they are having to set up for a 44-yard field goal, facing fourth and 12. Kick is on its way, and it is going to be good. That is going to make the score 7-3 still here in the first quarter. Now that we've established the passing game, it is time to give Okafor the ball a lot on this drive, finding some room on the left side, easily picking up a first down. Right now, we got a well-balanced offensive attack. Little play-action pass. Graham finds Pino again. This cornerback that is on Pino is not very good. We should have a good matchup the entire game. Next play, hey, back to the run game. Okafor finding some room on the outside, running away from defenders. Finally gets tackled by number nine, and we are almost in the red zone. Okafor is pulsating. One thing we're going to do this game is actually throw Okafor the ball as a receiver out of the backfield. And there you go. Gets inside the five in quadruple coverage. I know he's got a 52 rating for catching, but he still finds a way to make plays. And then you know we're going to give it to Okafor again down here inside the five. Finally getting the touchdown, two-yard score. Auburn trying to answer here before the half, down 14-3. to three. Here it is, third and eight. And they're going to try to do a little play-action pass. That goes nowhere. The D-tackle Smith ends up getting a sack. And that Notre Dame back on offense here. We're going to try to score before the end of the half. Still mixing it up, throwing the deep ball. Wheeler this time makes a great catch in coverage. Right here, I'm actually wanting to do the cheese play where they, I do the direct snap. But unfortunately, the defense just doesn't allow it. So I'm going to audible and just run four streaks. And we're looking to Wheeler once again. Looks like he is manned up. Over the top in the middle of the field. We are inside the five-yard line. Wheeler making two big plays on this drive. And then we're going to do a little counter play to Okafor. Get stopped, but able to bounce outside. Dives in for the touchdown, and that is his second touchdown of the game. And we are up 21-3. to Getting into the second half, Auburn's got the ball, and they are looking to make a drive right here. Facing a third and five, though. We got man with cover two over the top. Play action pass sucks me in, but then I go deep with Porter. Luckily, our free safety is able to deflect the ball, causing the incomplete fourth down. After a nice punt by Auburn, we are backed up here on our own side of the field. Going a little eye formation right there. Got to bring the big boys out so we can get some running room. Okafor just tears over the middle for 20, and that puts him over 1,500 yards on the season. Next play, we're doing a little bit of option. I know we got a slow quarterback, but it's always nice to throw in that wrinkle. 
first and 10 now. Graham, another play action. We're going over the top. Graham looks like he is trying to throw to an open receiver. Ends up fumbling it, and that is the first mistake by this Notre Dame offense. Auburn with a little bit of momentum. They are looking to actually capitalize on this since they have great field position. Simple curl route to Matthews. Brown not able to make the tackle, and he goes in for the first touchdown. Cutting into our lead, it is now 21-10. to 10. Notre Dame needed to respond. We are facing a third and six. Graham, we're looking to go to Pino. We like that matchup. Actually, no, we go to the true freshman on the corner route. Makes a great catch, and we are now in midfield. Okafor needing to get going, man. Here we go, direct snap. Showing the human joystick. Double spin move. Going in for the first down. Gain of 10 right there. He's got over 100 yards today. Going to get our receivers going once again on the play action pass. Graham looking deep. These cornerbacks are not very good. Richardson beats his man in the end zone for another touchdown by this receiving core. 39-yard touchdown pass and catch. Auburn trying to keep it close here in the fourth, facing second and 13. Their quarterback is pulsating. And they go to Matthews down the right side, able to make the catch, breaks a tackle, and that man is off for his second touchdown of the game. This dude is definitely their offensive playmaker. The game is basically over, but why not try to score another one with Christian Okafor? The dude is pulsating again, and we are going deep, showing this man's receiver skills off. Look at the diving touchdown against a free safety. 32-yard touchdown. Christian Okafor can do it all, man. He can now run for touchdowns and catch touchdowns. Looking at this replay, with Christian Okafor's speed, we've got to at least run this play a couple times a game out of the backfield. I know he only has a 52 catcher rating, but when he's in the zone pulsating like that, it's almost guaranteed that he's going to come up with the catch. During the second half, man, there's been a lot of offensive firepower. Auburn trying to keep up with Notre Dame. Not able to do it. Obviously, there was some miscommunication there with the quarterback and wide receiver. Anyways, Bass ends up making the interception, making a couple guys miss, and actually gets a decent return, man. We are now at the 40-yard line. We might put some more points on the board. With the clock winding down, we're just going to have to settle for a 41-yard field goal. The kick is up. It is good, and that is going to end the game. And this one's all wrapped up. Kirk, any final thoughts here? It was a good game, but I'm sure there's a little disappointment down there. Auburn probably feels they should have won this game, but they just didn't make enough big plays when they needed to. Folks, that's going to do it for this edition of NCAA Football 2007. Again, our final score, Notre Dame 38, Auburn 16. Looking at the stats for today's game, man, our quarterback came to play Graham, man. 257 yards, three touchdowns. Okafor, 130 yards on the ground with two rushing touchdowns. And then he also chipped in two for 57 with one touchdown. Pino also got himself a touchdown with 66 yards receiving, as well as Richardson, who caught one touchdown pass. Back in the dorm room, let's go ahead and look at Okafor's stats on the season and how they stack up to everybody else running the ball this year. So it looks like Doug White is leading the running backs with over 2,000 yards rushing, and Okafor is sitting at number seven in the nation, just under 1,600. Christian does average the most yards per carry, though, at 7.7 .7 yards, so that means that we just need to get him the ball more. So we're going to start feeding him nonstop in this next game. La Tech is the final game of this episode, and they are horrible, so this is just the team to really rack up some rushing yards. They are 3-6, and six, but they are on a three-game win streak, so they started the year off 0-6. Oh Welcome, everyone. Brad Nessler here for EA Sports with my co-host, Kirk Herbstreet, and the coach, Lee Corso. It's a mild, clear day, so the weather won't be a factor in this battle between the Notre Dame Fighting Irish and the Louisiana Tech Bulldogs. We're getting closer and closer to the end of this college football season as we continue to bring all the excitement with this game. And here come the Bulldogs. The Bulldogs really have their work cut out for them today here, Kirk. Notre Dame is led by their running back. Now, I had a chance to talk to him about this game, and believe me, he is ready to run all over this defense. Coach, I expect him to have a big game on the ground. Hey, 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 who do you think I'm picking? I'm picking Fighting Irish. After winning the coin toss, we decided to put our defense out on the field first. Banks trying to hit his wide receiver on third down. Incomplete after the huge hit by our free safety. That brings up fourth down. And I'm going to let you know right now, son. Get used to that, 81. Y'all aren't going anywhere today. It is now time to feed the beast, baby. Okafor, halfback dive right up the middle. Picking up the first down on second and 12. Very next play, we got that cheese sauce, baby. Okafor, direct snap to the right side. 
gets another first down. We are almost in the red zone, and we are not done yet, man. We are going to keep feeding that boy. Over four, spin move, bouncing off a tackle, throwing the stiff arm, picking up three first downs in a row. And we're just going to keep feeding them, doing a little bit of audible right here. They got a lot of guys in the box, but we're still not scared. Okafor right up the middle. The Red Sea opens up for us, and he goes in for a nine-yard touchdown. No dang D back out on the field, man. Making their presence felt here on second down and four. Banks, pocket collapsing, gets sacked. Big hit that brings up third and 13. And you already know the story, guys. They're not going to pick up the first down. Easy completion to the outside, but we tackle him, forcing a fourth down punt, and we got number three, our backup running back, bringing it back down the right sideline. No one's going to touch that, man. And we have got ourselves a 14-point lead here early in the ball game. This game is about to get out of hand if La Tech can't make something happen here on third and 10. We're bringing our star linebacker, Miller, on the blitz, who forces the incomplete pass. No Dame offense back out on the field. We are going to be focusing on Okafor. Doing some cheese play, baby. Direct snap to Okafor again. Find some room on the outside. Juked. Gets the first down. Yoink. Spin move. Stiff arm. Still going. Dragon number 35. After getting sacked on first down, it is second and 22. Graham finding the true freshman. Almost picking up the first down. It is third and two now. We got to put the ball in Okafor's hands. Trying to do the direct snap. They play it really well, not letting us go to the outside, but we cut it in the inside, picking up the first. Second and 10. I don't like what I see from the defense, so we're going to do a little bit of an audible, doing a dive play now, and then we're going to go ahead and bounce it outside, picking up the first down easy with 72 lead blocking for us. A couple plays later, Oka for direct snap. Impact move, making that guy miss, and we are going in for another touchdown. It is 21 to nothing. Okafor with his second rushing touchdown of the game. Started the second half. We got the opening kickoff, but we are deep in our own territory. Tossing the ball out wide to Okafor. Gets a good block by the fullback. Oh, wait, that was a nice little spin move. And then we're going to try to outrun everybody with the hurdle, with the stiff arm, and we are gone. Three broken tackles on this play, and no one is going to catch us. Touchdown, Christian Okafor, longest run of his career, 90 yards. And it is now 28 to nothing and three rushing touchdowns for that man, Okafor. Notre Dame defense back out on the field, and it is not even a question. Miller coming off the edge. He is going to end up hurting this quarterback. They're going to have to get him out of the game. Offense hitting the field once more. And we're going straight to Okafor, man. Trying to get him as many yards as possible in this game. Getting the ball all the way out to midfield after breaking another 20-yard rush. Direct snap. Finding some room on the left side of the field. Able to outrun number 35, but can't get away from number 38. Okafor got us down here, so we are lined up in the I formation. And we're going to feed him the ball one more time. Bouncing off a tackle. Going in for the touchdown. His fourth rushing touchdown of the game. This dude cannot be stopped. La Tech is in a world of hurt. La Tech offense finally hitting the field. Getting a couple first downs, but now they face a third and eight at midfield. Banks looking to hit his tight end Jones, who catches and then drops it. That should have been a conversion. Oh, well. That just gives more time for that boy Okafor, making more cheese plays, picking up first downs left and right. This dude is going to have a career day. I told you once before, guys, we are going to start running these plays out of the backfield with Christian Okafor since he is the fastest man on the field. The dude was pulsating. Another great catch that was contested, and it is off to the races. Touchdown, Christian Okafor. 77-yard touchdown catch. That is his fifth total touchdown today. I actually got to give LaTex some credit right here, man. On this drive, they were able to make a couple first downs. But now it is fourth and two. Trying to go with the option. Pittman gets absolutely destroyed by Miller. Turnover on downs. And all the LaTex fans are headed to the exit. Now, we're not quite done with Okafor just yet. There's a little bit of time on the clock, so we might as well keep racking up yards. Breaking tackles. Calling timeouts to conserve the clock as much as possible. Okafor. Makes a guy miss, drags another defender for another first down. We are almost at midfield. And we got time for one or two more cheese plays. Okafor making a guy miss. Could have been a loss. He's able to juke out two defenders. And he's still trying to get away from one before he's taken down. And this one's all wrapped up. Kirk, any final thoughts here? We got exactly what we expected to get in this one. Louisiana Tech didn't expect to win this football game, but they hoped to at least put a couple drives together and put some points on the board. That didn't happen because they ran into a defense that was completely dominant.
Brad, they didn't even stand a chance today. Thanks for joining us for another presentation of NCAA Football 2007. Christian on the day finished with 361 yards rushing on 25 attempts and four touchdowns. Also chipped in a 77-yard receiving touchdown. Looking at the newsletter, what we got from the Campus Gazette? Setting the pace, Notre Dame's streak is at nine games after their defeat of the Bulldogs. Last thing we're going to do, guys, is check out that Heisman watch. I have got to be somewhere close, man. No, we are not. It is all quarterbacks. They don't have any running backs in the top five. We still have a couple more games. Hopefully, I can change that, but we're going to have to run the ball for like 300 yards plus every single game. Thank you so much for watching this, guys. If you're still here, I greatly appreciate it. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe and write a comment. As always, you know I'm going to respond back to you. I'm the coach, and I'm out.